Thank you, Zahra. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Morning Baraka, and in this segment, we're going to be discussing health and nutrition with my guest, Sara. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Thank, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So, after the last recipe, I'm really excited as to what you've got for us today. Yeah, so today we're going to be making a date and um, almond milk smoothie. Okay, interesting. I don't think I've had that combination before. No, I mean, it's a bit different because we're going to be replacing the normal cow's milk with some almond milk. Okay. Um, but it is very tasty and it's very quick and easy to prepare. Why would you choose almond milk? So I would choose almond milk if, for example, you have um, any intolerances. Okay. Um, there's some children or even adults that um, have dairy allergies and mm -hmm. so they would replace with either almond milk or coconut milk. Um, I kind of alternate, I'll mix. Sometimes I would use coconut milk, sometimes I'll use almond milk. Both it's very tasty and with this one it, the almond milk just goes really well. Okay, so talk us through what you're going to do now. So um, what I'm going to do first is just we're going to put all the ingredients in here. I'm going to take a couple of dates. Dates is amazing. Um, at the end of the day, we know that our Prophet, peace be upon him, and his family used to open his fast with dates. And mm -hmm. it's also a really good substitute if you have a sweet tooth, but you want something healthy. Yeah. It's got so many nutrients in there. And, you know, uh, to be honest, it's a great ingredient to use generally. It and is, to use yeah. this in a smoothie, I think it's really healthy. Mm -hmm. um, almonds on its own, from what I know, is also very, very rich in calcium and um, it has, especially the milk, it's good for your bones and it actually, you know, can really help with your easing of the smoothie because it's not the normal, like really thick mm -hmm. cow's milk that we would normally have as well. Exactly. And it's also good for your digestive system as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So if you feel a bit bloated, um, it can exactly. help with that too. Um, and also there are different types of dates that you can use. Um, the ones that I usually use is the sucary dates. They're very sweet. Okay. They, they're, right. they're okay. really gooey and, and you would leave them in the fridge. Okay. Um, but I find that they do kind of help with this smoothie. And also you can use the ones that they use for the date um, cookies. Yes. They're really, really sticky and they're really small. So you can get those from any kind of local Yeah, there's um, so Middle many Eastern different shop. types of dates. It's very difficult to know. So it's all trial and error it is, as yes. to what your taste buds you know, prefer. Exactly, but yeah. But these ones, what did you call that again? The sucary. Sucary dates. Yes. Okay. And usually you would find them in the fridge um, because they need to be refrigerated. And I know that with smoothies, uh, most people, you know, will do that as a quick meal. But this one, you can prepare the night before and you, you can, can use it. You can, yes. The following day. Exactly. So, for example, if you know you're going to be going to work really early or college or school or university, mm -hmm. um, you can make it the night before, keep it in the fridge, and then in the morning just grab it and it can be like a, a food uh, breakfast. A breakfast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it will fill you up and it will give you an energy and a boost for, you know, until lunchtime, really. We don't realize how much options we can have to make our lives healthy, but still, you know, just taking a little bit of thought as to the ingredients we use as well as, you know, using it like a smoothie because I mm -hmm. would like, you know, like to have something healthy in the morning to start the day. And it is also na narrated um, that uh, Imam Sadiq salam said that we should have like, you know, our full me meals in order to build our bodies for sustenance and to have us, you know, perform throughout the day. Exactly. So we shouldn't really skip meals. And we know that even as studies have shown, skipping meals, you know, when we think that we're going to be lethargic, we don't have the, you know, the drive to actually do any work. Mm -hmm. These sort of, you know, ingredients and this sort of recipes can really help boost us throughout the day. And to start this way is extremely important. Exactly. Yeah. And I guess when you get into that regular kind habit. of routine yeah. and habit, it becomes normal. Absolutely. And it isn't difficult at all. If you've got a blender, you can just kind of mm -hmm. uh, add whatever together. you want and yeah, mix it up. True. But I think this blend is really, really, really different. And I would love to see how you continue with this. Yeah. So um, so you've just pitted the dates. Yes, I've just put a couple of dates. You can put less, more. Okay. I think this is enough for the amount we're going to do. So do you, um, is that for one person, do you think, that amount of dates? It would make a big kind of cup. We'll see okay. the, the, the okay. cup we're going to okay, put it fine. in now. I mean... It depends. If you drink a lot, it might be it, it will be enough. If you don't drink that much, it, will it last might just longer. Exactly, okay. it might be a bit too much. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a cup of it's unsweetened, okay. um, yes. uh, roasted almond milk, right. which is good because these the dates are already sweet, so we don't. I was need just going to say you don't want to make it too overly sweet, it, exactly. and it's good that we don't even need any sugars or any other you know other stuff exactly. in there. Exactly. Yeah. Now, um, if you're not used to. Oh, 
almond milk, so spitting it a bit. It might be a different taste um, for you, but it is something that you would just get used to. How would you describe the different taste between normal milk and almond milk? With almond milk, you can taste the the, the almonds. Okay. It, you can actually taste it, so it gives really? it that nutty okay, taste, fine. which is really nice. And also, we're going to be adding peanut butter in there as well. Oh, wow, peanut butter. Yeah. It's very, very high calorie content. Um, so just be careful how much you would use if you are, you know, watching your diet there. So it's, yes. the thing is, people don't understand is that, you know, when they want to be healthy, it's not about not using ingredients, but it's the amount. Exactly. Because I know a lot of people, they're like, I eat healthy. But I'm like, how much are you eating of that? Because, mm -hmm. you know, they'll have like a whole bowl of nuts and that's their lunch. But actually, you only need a handful. Because it's really, really important to understand the foods that you're eating, how much calories, because a lot of these things that are healthy, it has got high content of calories, for example, or some fat, just to fill you up, to keep give you that boost and that mm -hmm. energy. But we need to know the amount that's needed per person. Exactly, and, you know, yeah. something like this, it has got high col uh, calories, so you need to be careful as to how much you're going to use in it, that. It does. And again, it's um, full of protein as well. Yes. So, um, children or adults who don't have that get that protein from other sources of food it's a good way to kind of top them up so they're making sure they're getting the right um you know uh, balance, new balance yeah. of what, what they need so um, i'm going to put two tablespoons of this in there again it, it's something you can reduce if you okay. would like it's or put a, put a little bit more it's up to you depending on h how you feel I don't normally um, have peanut butter, but I think, you know, when you're mixing some of these ingredients together, you can have the benefits without realizing that you're going to have it individually. And if you don't have that particular taste for it, exactly. you wouldn't really be able to tell it in something like this, which I think is a really smart, clever way, especially even for children, teenagers who are studying, who are, you know, wanting to, you know, boost their immune system as well as give them the energy levels exactly, and yeah. help them. And like I mentioned before, like, our brain, our body, you know, our organs, it all needs to have that maintenance in order to improve. Just like a car, you've got to service it constantly. You've got to, you know, exactly. for, for it to, you know, serve you well. So we need to be more aware of our food so that we can actually live much more healthier lives. And our well-being is so important. Like, again, I work with people's minds, but I take a lot of interest in our foods because I think it's a combination to have that healthy mind and body. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, this is amazing that you've come up with this. So let's so see. What are we going to blend it now? So or is there anything else to No, we're going to add one banana. Okay. I always want to eat banana, but I'm like, I don't know. I just don't feel like I always get the chance and it's having it on its own. So this is a really good addition to it as it well. It is. Again, if your children don't like to eat these things, blending it up is a good way to kind of trick them. Of because course. they don't realize what's actually in it. Absolutely. So, um, and it tastes really nice. So, so with that one, you would use half or whole? How many are you using? Um, I'm going to use a whole banana okay. in here because I'm going to make it... That's uh, really filling ingredients in there, actually. It's very filling, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, like I said, it could be a substitute for a meal. Absolutely. So, um, okay. Okay, so we have in there everything, the peanut butter, the dates, and the almond milk. I'm just going to put that away. And the, the bananas. Okay. And even bananas is, is quite sweet on its own as well, to be fair. So exactly, yeah. you don't really need any extra sugars. Just give it a jiggle. Right. Make sure it's nice Make and sure tight. that's really tight yeah. on top. We don't really want anything to spill. <laughs> exactly. Off. We don't want any accidents. <laughs> I can tell why you use those dates as well, mm -hmm. because it's actually soft and it's easier to blend. Exactly. And you can see the beautiful colours yeah. that ha have come through the milk. It looks like chocolate chips, really. E exactly. <laughs> Another way to trick younger children. <laughs> Brilliant. To see if that's all done. Again, you can use ice in this if you want it to oh, be yes. cool. Of course. Um, in the but summer, yes. Exactly. Right, so I'm just going to... Do you think that normally smoothies can be a bit too... I find it too thick, or do you think you could add more milk to it with you, the consistency? You can. So I'm going to have or a look at this. even some water? You could do, yes. Um, I'm going to have a look and see how thick it is, because I've put quite a few things in there. Yeah. And again... Because, I mean, it's a personal choice, really, as to how your consistency is, as to what you like. Exactly. So okay, for that seems quite okay. It's okay, but I will add some a little milk. bit more milk in okay. there because I've just I think it could do with just a little bit more. Again, you will kind of figure out with okay. your own eye measurements. Absolutely. Um, so that's probably of what about a tablespoon and a half extra. Okay. I'm gonna just go and blend that again. Okay. 
You know, another factor we don't really take into consideration, as we mentioned before, as you reminded me by you still wearing your gloves, <laughs> yes. is the health and hygiene. Yeah. Um, when we're prefer preparing food, even in the house, we take it for granted that, you know, we're always clean. But you mm -hmm. know what, it's so important, even Islamically, we have to always take extra care, especially Definitely. in the kitchen, because we don't realize when you're mixing the ingredients and, you know, taking from one to the other and to teach our children in that way. Exactly, yes, definitely. And there's so many hadith as well that even shows and says about how we need to, you know, eat, mm -hmm. how we need to even, you know, uh, basically, when we're actually chewing and to be, you know, quiet as possible and to be respectful. The etiquette and manners are so important. And even though the show is health and nutrition, I think it works hand in hand with the way in which we need to perform and behave, you know, whether we're in our homes or in public, and it starts from the home. Exactly, yeah. So it's really important that we, we consider that, especially, you know, I want to bring this up because, you know, for our audience sakes, that it's a quick reminder, and for the young as well, that, you know, when we are representing our beliefs and whatever it may be, it comes from religion. It's the fact that our manners and our etiquette it does come through with how in which we need to be every day and also everyone around us is comfortable sitting with us mm -hmm. and we can be proud because this is the way, what we believe in and this is how we practice and we're representing that. Exactly and again like you were saying it's a good way to introduce your children yes. into tide and uh, cleansiness and the nawafa min iman so they of start course. teaching them that in school yes. in Arabic school if they do go or if you do that at home, practice at home get first. them to do it and yes. explain to them okay why do we need to wash our hands why yeah. do we need to do this? And it becomes a fun activity. So Absolutely. they're learning through Definitely. kind of play Absolutely. in a way. So um, it's also a great thing. So I'm just going to go and blend sure, this up again. Sure, go ahead. A loud noise again. <laughs> I would normally, if I was to add some liquid to it, I wouldn't blend it again. So do you suggest for a smoothie, if you're going to add some liquid or anything else afterwards, especially liquid, would you blend it again or would you just mix it normally? I, I do, but that's just me. I because do I feel it's just going to make it thick again. <laughs> I know, let's just have yeah, a look. <laughs> I know what you, well, well, let's have a look, like you said. <laughs> right. I guess I like to make sure it's all blended in nicely. Okay, yeah. And that you don't have bits of it at the top. Fair enough, yeah, so that's floating. quite handy, yeah, no, of course. So let's have a go and see. Wow. So the colours are just so beautiful and just a mixture of... Absolutely. Actually, that's a fair amount and that's actually would last me probably like through breakfast and maybe a bit of lunch. Exactly, yeah. And, you know, if you've got younger children, they can have a little bit of this. Yeah. So you can share it amongst you them. You can share anything. it, yeah, exactly. Uh, or reduce the banana if you find it's a bit too thick. Yes. Instead of doing a whole, whole banana, banana, do half. Do, do half and maybe reduce the dates, dates as well. As well. Okay. Um, so there are different ways. There's no right or wrong way of doing no, of it. Course. You can just trial and error. Um, but this is the way I do it. Um, and obviously you can kind of take it into your own hands and see. Okay, right. now, uh, is it ready for me to try? Yes, it's ready okay. for me to try. Okay, let me just see. Okay. Mmm, I can taste a lot of banana in there and I can taste the peanut butter. So not a great thing if you're not a peanut butter fan or you could take the peanut butter element out. It's really nice. It's lovely. Obviously, yeah. I took a while because obviously to, to I know, yeah. up the straw and it's quite a little bit thick than normal, but no, I love it. Thank you. And again, you can add ice into it. Mm. In fact, if you do add ice, it will make it a lot a thinner. Bit, yes, because of the water in there. Mm, exactly, yes. No, that's really lovely, Sana. Thank you so much You're for welcome. that. That's amazing. So what other sort of um, ingredients, other than, you know, this particular one for smoothies, would you actually recommend? Um, so I would use, so same milk, but I would use banana and strawberry. That's okay. really nice. Um, and it's quick oh, and yes, easy. Of course, you get different flavors, milks. Ex exactly, okay. yes. So you can, especially for children, this is really nice. um, the, the banana and the strawberry, a lot of the yogurts that they make for mm -hmm. children are around those flavors. So children tend to like that. And put in almond and substitute the normal cow's milk for almond or coconut milk. Try it with Amazing. them. Amazing. See how they take to it. They might not even notice. Okay. So, and it's also a lot healthier than the, the cow's milk. So it's good to introduce different, different things to, to it's children. It's good to have the variety. And like I said, these are such good new nutrients that we're yeah. going to you know include in our diet so exactly. it's amazing exactly. but thank you so much You're for welcome. sharing and inshallah we'll be back with more recipes on morning barakah over to you thank you assalamu alaikum